हेलो मई डियर फैमिली मेम्बर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग कॉग्निजेंट एग्जाम फाइनली कॉग्निजेंट हैज अनाउंसड द डेट ऑफ टेक्निकल असेसमेंट दैट इज ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ अप्रिल पीपल वर आस्किंग मी वेन विल बी द एग्जाम ऑफ टेक्निकल असेसमेंट आफ्टर एप्टीट्यूड राउंड सो मेनी ऑफ यू हैव गिवेन दट एप्टीट्यूड राउंड ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट और सेवनटीन ऑफ अप्रिल बट डी डेंट रिसीव द टेक्निकल असेसमेंट लिंक सो दे वर डेस्परेटली वॉचिंग एंड लुकिंग फॉर द technical assessment but uh, they were disappointed but i told them to have the hope the exam will be on 25th of april when no one was telling about that i was telling that on 25th of april will be the date of exam so this comes to true because guys i have experience i know the understand i know about them so that's why i told that this will be the exam date so maybe i had some information so that's why okay so let me share the question which will be very much important for you guys because 15th of april the last technical assessment was happened so the question was asked on 15th of april that was what i'm going to share but before that just one important thing for you that is cognizant again started hiring a mass hiring for 2025 batch and for all the location like chennai bangalore Hyderabad, Kolkata, Pune, Coimbatore, Kochi, Bhubaneswar, Indore, and many more locations. And as you can see, the roles are Gen C, Gen C Next, Gen C Pro. So, and the date, last date for uh, application is twenty eighth of April. And the packages you can see four lakh and four lakh to six point seven five LPA. And mainly they are hiring for the tester and the developer. Okay, so please share this. uh link i'll i'll be sharing the link in the description box please share this with your friends or the close to one who has not applied earlier and they want now to apply so please let them know about this news and please share that so that they can also take a part of this job journey okay so the link will be in the description box please give them the link okay so let me share the question so the question was regarding a uh, calculation of distance so this is very popular question in cognizant uh, regarding um ascii value so this is very important question in cognizant so for all the cluster this questions is going to be very important so the task was to calculate the total distance a finger travels while typing a given string on a keyboard where the keys are arranged in a alphabetical order the keyboard layout is such that each letter from a to z is assigned a position index starting from 0 for a up to 25 for z uh, the distance between two consecutive characters in the string is the absolute distance as absolute difference between their respective indices the total distance is the sum of this absolute di difference for every pair of consecutive characters in the input string i am letting you know what the question is uh, actually asking so this is the actual questions i hope this is not properly visible actually i made this blur so that i don't face any copyright issue so the question is actually shown here so i don't want to reveal the um identity of the exam mini so let me just so the sample input so that you know better okay so this is the sample input cba and the uh, output is two how i am letting you know so um okay so c b and a as you all know guys the um place value of c is normally 3 and normally for b 2 and normally for a is 1 okay but they have told that you have to start from 0 for a you have to start 25 for z so for that we will just reduce 1 so for c will take 2 for b will take 1 for a will take 0 okay so now what we will do just subtract this number 2 minus 1 and 1 minus 0 okay so then we will just add that number then we will get our output so 2 minus 1 absolute value of 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 and absolute value of 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 okay so if we add this then it will become 2 okay and let me show the second sample input that was dma and 21 so uh, let me remove this okay so for dma d is normally 4 m is 13 a is 1 right but for this we as the indexing starting from 0 so that's why this will be 3 and m will be 12 and a will be 0 so in this case 3 minus 12 
if we take absolute value then it will become 9 and for 12 minus 0 this will become 12 right so 12 plus 9 will be what 21 so that's why the output is 21 okay so i hope you understood the task right so what will be our approach so before i just discuss about the approach so let me introduce with our prime materials in which you will get all the recent questions with answers and i have all the experience that's why i'm telling you because i have been watching the questions for last three years and i know what is better for you so that's why i'm recommending you to have the materials and get the common questions okay at least you can get the similar questions okay so please consider cognizant prime materials where you will get all the required things okay including the interview experiences okay so i hope you will consider so visit topmint.io slash techno underscore uf you will get to know about it okay so oh, let me share the approach to solve the problem so the approach will be uh, actually we'll just use the ascii value concept okay that is as all of you know the small letter ascii value is small letter a ascii value is 97 and b is 98 so you know this right so for cba so for c is 99 so for cba c is 99 b is uh, 98 a is what a is 97 so 98 minus 97 uh, this will be 1 so 1 plus 1 will be 2 so this is the concept of what will be used okay so how can we get the ascii value please give the answer in the comment section so that it will be a quick question for you so actually for uh, python will use ord the inbuilt function to get the ascii value of a character uh, let me show how we can get the ascii value of a character in java so that is just uh, right int ascii uh, give the variable name is equal to the character okay so this is how you can get the ascii value of a character just store inside the integer and like keep it as character okay so you can get the ascii character uh, i mean ascii value okay so let me share the answer so that it, it will get easier for you okay guys before i show you the answer please subscribe this channel and share this with your friend and also recommend me which content do you want more if you are liking this video much then i'll keep uploading more content about your subject about your company so it, it will be easier and better for you guys okay so please do that i'll be motivated okay so let me share the python solutions at first uh yeah so this is the python solutions so let me share the main function at first in mean the driver code so that is uh, let's say at first i have initialized the input okay i have just hard coded the input okay and then i am just calling the function calculate distance and taking the argument text and it, it will print the desired output whatever it is returning okay so calculate distance this function uh, let me just share the implementation so at first there were two base scenario base case that is if 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 it is not a text if let's say it is a alpha numerical uh, string or it is a numerical string then it should return zero or if the length of the string is lesser than or equal to one then return zero so this is what you have to return at the very beginning this is the base case scenario right so if you just forget to upload uh, like give this condition then it will return an error because or also if you just add this condition at the end then also it will enter a error uh, it will throw an error okay so please give this best case scenario okay so let me just take an example for cba okay so the for loop starting from one so that is let's say zero one and two so from here it is starting and up to the length of the string so text is the string itself okay so uh, here we are just storing the positions of elements so previous position is equal to order of text i minus one so text i minus one means i is one one minus one is zero so text zero that means c right text zero is c so the ascii value of c is equal to 
97.99 minus order of a order of a that means ascii value of a is equal to 97 so it becomes 2 next current position is equal to order of text i so i is starting from 1 so text i is equal to text 1 so that is b so order of b is equal to 98 that is the ascii value of small b and minus order of a that is 97 so it becomes 1 okay then total distance we have to parallelly add this uh, value add the absolute value of their subtraction so current position minus previous position current position minus previous position 1 minus 2 is equal to 1 and you have to store that inside the third variable total distance which you have to re uh, which you have to initialize before the for loop started okay so we have to use the absolute uh, inbuilt function okay and then in the next iteration the i is now 2 so it is pointing at a so now the previous position is i minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so order of 1 that is order of b that is 98 minus 97 order of a that is 1 and current position is equal to the a right so order of a is equal to 97 minus order of a is equal to 97 so it becomes 0 so 1 plus 1 that will become 2 right so total distance will be first case 1 and second case 1 so it will be 2 so that is what it will return so i hope you understood so let me just return and print it okay so for dba it should return 21 and for um for cva it will return 2 okay so i hope you understood what the task was what was the of uh, like syntaxes i have used what is the logic i have used so if you still didn't understand then please let me know in the comment section or you can just uh, ask your questions at our telegram channel t.me slash ubk and now there we will discuss more okay so let me share the quest solutions in java so the same way we'll at first go to the main function so main function will be written for you you don't have to do anything for that so you just have to implement the logic here okay in the main in the function so this is what it will be written for you so just take an uh, input i just hard coded the input and just call the function here okay nothing else so let me just go to the implementation of the function so same way we have just to taken the base condition that is if the text is null and if the length of the text is lesser than or equal to one then return zero then we are running a for loop from one to the length of that element so text dot length so this is the inbuilt function to get the length of the element so then uh, we are storing the previous character and the current character then then at first we are storing the previous character and the current character using strings inbuilt function char at okay so char at it will return the current position okay of uh, current positions character of the string okay so i minus one at first this is the previous character and for current character this will return text dot caret i so this is the uh, index and this will return the index character okay that index character so at first we stored the previous character and current character then we are getting the ascii value of those so the process to get the ascii value of any character is just get the character minus a okay minus a right this way and store that inside an integer value integer variable will get the ascii value okay and for the current character how to get the uh, ascii value just store that inside integer variable and current character minus a you will get the ascii value of that okay then just add that uh, absolute value after subtracting from current position and previous positions okay so i hope you understood so this is the same way we have done in java as we done in python so guys let me just run it and let me show the sample input and output so for this dma it is returning 21 i hope this is visible to you and for cba it should return um two okay as expected so guys if you are from cluster three then for you one suggestion please go through the video and try to understand the logic the syntax will be little bit different but almost similar as java for c surf 
so please try to implement the same logic into your c sharp code so i hope it will be helpful for you so guys again i'm requesting you to have the prime materials and get all like almost all common questions as you can see the feedback of our prime uh, members so you will also can get the same so please consider it so visit topmate.io slash techno underscore uf and grab that and please uh, let all your friends know about this hiring so i hope you do so